In the last tutorial I showed you how you can create a jumping system for third person controllers and now I will show you how you can create a crouching system for third person controller. It's very similar, so let's go. So I got my third person controller or my third person character here in the scene and I attached the own third person controller to it. So and in the last tutorials we covered how to walk, how to shoot and how to jump. So you can create a completely new script or as I do, I just add a method in the update routine for crouching. And then I will create a new method called crouch. And here all the crouching logic will be implemented. So for the general concept, I will do the following. I will uh, just call the animation for crouch and I will reduce the height of this capsule collider. So as you can see, the height is now about one and I will just reduce it and then the collider will be a little bit smaller. So the first thing I do is duplicate the jump button from the UI and call it crouch button. And just move it slightly to the left. As a pro tip, just use ASCII art instead of real pictures because then you're way faster. Then I go over, copy the fix button, jump button and call it crouch button. And in the editor, I will drag and drop the button to my new property called crouch button. So we need some variables. One variable is a protected bool is crouching and we will set it to false in the beginning. And um, if we are crouching and the crouch button is not pressed, then we will try to stand up. And if the crouch button is pressed and we are not crouching, then we will try to crouch or we will definitely crouch because this is always possible. The next thing we need is a protected capsule collider. And this will be directly initiated here in the start method, get component, capsule collider, and then we have the reference. Note that we already have the reference of the widget body from earlier tutorials. Um, if you're just if you're just interested in the crouching system, then you have to add a widget body and get the component widget body. So one thing I changed uh, in this coding is that I also check for input get button uh, get key key code C so that I can use my keyboard and not only the mobile phone because I need two thumbs on my computer to show you how to crouch. And uh, the first thing uh, I do is I will debug draw array from the transform position to vector up to. So this means vector up is just a vector that points up and the length is two. And I will mark it green. So I will do this to show you the following thing. Here you see it on the left. Here's the green mark. And this is just the length of my character to check, for example, if I go underneath this block, um, if I can go up again or not. So uh, I will. this will be more clear when we get into detail. So let's just start with the crouching. So here are three lines of code. So the capsule collider height will be reassigned to 0.5. And the center will be reallocated at the same center it, as it was before. And we just modify the y value by 
setting it to 0.25 float. So the original center was at 0.5, so we uh, set it to half because the height set to the half at the original um, capsule collider 2. And we will set our variable is crouching to 2, two and the action sitting to two. So this action sitting is just for triggering the animation. Uh, this can be completely up to you how you animate your character, but this is uh, one thing that's in my character, uh, in the action script of my character. So this will trigger just the animation for crouching. So I will save this and we will start the theme. Okay, there we go. As soon as I press the crouch button, the player goes down. So, and that's it. Uh, it stays there. Uh, we can have a look at the collider. Um, here's my soldier, there's the collider. It's way more compact, so I can fit underneath this block. So let's go ahead and create the um, end of the crouching. So it's just the stand up of the character. Okay, there we go. These are a few more lines. So uh, at first we need to check if we can't stand up right now. And if we can't stand up, we won't stand up. So if we not can't stand up, so basically this means if you uh, have a double negative, it's just a positive. So if we can stand up, we will execute this code. So how can we find out if we can stand up right now? So basically as we always do with a physics ray, ray cast, we ray cast um, a ray from our current position as we um, have here and to the vector three up and the length is two. So basically the way that we saw here in green uh, we will use this way to just check is there anything that's intersecting with this way. And if this is not the case, we will reset the height to 1. So we will make everything we did uh, up here just in reverse. So we reset the height to 1 and the center to 0 0.5. The crouching will be set to false because it was set to 2 here and the animation um, get reversed also. Okay, let's save this and let's start our game. And as you can see, we can crouch. And the good thing is I can press C on my keyboard too because I have added it to the script and I can use my um, mouse pointer as a virtual finger. And we can go underneath this block. And if I release C, we can't stand up because we are still underneath this block and as soon as we uh, leave the block the character will stand up. Uh, if we have a closer look here uh, at the collider this is what it looks like. The collider gets smaller, the green ray is intersecting with nothing. We can stand up but as soon as we go underneath this block the ray is intersecting with this block and the character stays crouched. So how important is this way casting? Jim, let's try it out. We will just comment everything out and we try the thing. So that means we just uh, set the capsule collider and do not respect anything that is in our way. Let's make the white window a little bit bigger. I will crouch, I will go underneath this block, stand up and I'm too low. If I crouch again now, I will fall through the floor. So this is not what we want and therefore we will need this. I hope you like it. The next video will be about um, equipping our player with different, uh, different weapons because now we can only equip him with a rifle. And the next time I will show you how we can switch the weapons.